Hello everyone. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Sara. Good morning. Uh, good evening, Judith. Good evening, Diego and Marjorie. I'm thinking about the morning. That's why I was about to say good morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Today we are going to um, have a great time. I hope you had a great day today. How was your day? Mm -hmm. I think. How was your day? Anyone? I think. Okay. How was your day? Was busy, crazy, boring? Heavy. How was it? Heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, welcome, welcome, Fatima. Okay, uh, today, um, as you know, we are going to continue uh, studying the simple, well, uh, future tenses. Uh, yesterday, we worked on a tense, and today we are going to continue working for, um, on the tense for future, how to express future, all right? So I hope you are ready to start learning today, and uh, we can start right now. I hope your classmate can join us later, all right? Okay, I'm going to start sharing my screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today, today we are going to talk about the future with will. Do you remember that yesterday we covered the future with going to? So today we are going to cover the future with will. Okay, I have a question for you. Does anybody know the difference between going to and will? Anyone? The difference between will and going to? No? Uh, mm -hmm. uh... Um, I, I think that will is when you have plans, but it can change. Okay, and, okay. And going to is, is about plans that you have, but you are seguro. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Sure, uh-huh. Okay. okay, good. Thank so, uh, okay, thank you, uh, Judith. So uh, we're going to talk about that uh, during this time, and I hope you are ready to learn today, all right? So this is the agenda that I have for you. Uh, we are going to um, have a warm-up activity, and then we are going to work with future with Will, and then we're gonna have a practice and role play, all right? So the intro uh, what is the objective for today's lesson? A student will be able to learn how to use Will to talk about future plans, okay? Future plans. Okay, review previous learning. I would like from you, I would like you to tell me two sentences using going to, okay? Can you open your mic and tell me two sentences using going to? Hello. I'm going to eat my favorite food. Okay, good, good. Thank you, Marjorie. Anyone else? Good evening, teacher, and everybody. Good, 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 good evening, Sandra. Good evening. And everybody. Good evening. Sorry, 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 please. Okay. Um, a sentence with going to Christian. Thank you. Oh, me. Okay, I'm going to sleep a lot after class and yes, you're going to make fun this class. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, what about uh, what about you, Judith? Okay. Mm, I am going to go at 
at the park tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to go to the park tomorrow. Good. All right. Um, so anyone else? Mm -hmm. Remember that we are reviewing uh, previous learning. Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to work tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to work tomorrow. Good, thank you. All right, thank you. I, may I see a picture? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to start my class a little later today. Okay, I'm going to start my, cl my class a little late today. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, good. So those were, I remember that yesterday uh, we were talking about going to, and basically when we are talking about going to, we are referring to uh, plans that we have already arranged or those plans are already planned. So for example, uh, tomorrow, if you have classes, you say, I'm going to have classes tomorrow at seven o'clock or eight o'clock in the evening. All right? Okay, good. Okay, uh, we're gonna have a, a game right now. Have you ever played tic-tac-toe? Yes, no? No. 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 Uh, in Spanish is X zero. In Spanish is X zero. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played X zero? Tic tac toe. In Spanish, yes. Okay. Um, I can hear an angry dog over there barking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, anyway, so uh, we are going to play a game with just tic-tac-toe and it's going to be girls against men. In other words, women, women against men. Okay. So uh, what are we going to do? Uh, you will play a game, choose one word and use it in a sentence. Try to win this competition. All right. So look, uh, let me see. Who doesn't know how to play tic-tac-toe or X0? Who doesn't know? Who doesn't know how to play tic-tac-toe? Oh, everybody <coughs> knows. Okay, good. Yes. Everybody, everybody. Okay, good. All right. If you see here, well, no vamos a utilizar X0, X0, but we are going to use words. Oh, yes. We are going to use words. So that means that men, okay, if you see, I have words, I have words over here. So that means that you are going to, what? Decide X, O, zero, okay? If, if you want an X or a zero. And remember, if you see the word who, you are going to use the word who in a sentence, okay? So who is going to start, men or women? All right. Ladies first. What? Yeah, ladies first. Ladies okay, first. Okay, lady first. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Okay. Right. Who begins? Um, uh, who, who? Ladies, okay, you're first. Choose a word and use it in a sentence. Who is he? No, wait, ladies. Okay, remember, oh. the game is going to be ladies against gentlemen or women against men, okay? Yeah. Okay, women. Mm -hmm. Who, who? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. May I begin, teacher? Yeah, remember, you're playing as a whole team of women. Todo, las mujeres están juntas contra todos los hombres. So, if you miss, Sandra, everyone misses. Mm -hmm. okay. Come on, everybody, girls. Begin. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, okay, good. Tell me. Go Tell ahead, me. Sandra. Where, where, where? Yes. Where? Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Um, why is she crying? Okay, good. Why is she crying? Okay, good. 
Ok, men. Ok, vamos, vamos, he? boys. ¿Ah? Who is he? Ok, who is he? Good. Ok. Give me a second, give me a second. I'm looking for um, the one that I need. Ok, here it is. Who is he? Ok, ladies. How many children do you have? How many children do you have? Ok, how? It has to be right there, right? Okay. How many? Okay. How many children do you have? Okay, boys. Boys. Which? Hello. Which is this? Hello. Which? Which is this? What? Which is this? Which is this? What do you mean by which is this? Hmm. ¿Cuál es eso? What is it? You mean ah, it? sí, that's different, ¿sí? Cuando ustedes quieren decir qué es eso, es what is it. It's not as which is this. Mm, maybe mm. which thing you will do. Tomorrow? And by the way, okay, ladies, you are not supposed to say anything because if you say anything or something, our guys are going to take your ideas and they're going to tell me a sentence, okay? So, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay. I'm just saying. Mercury. Okay. Okay, boys, tell me. Uh, which things you will do tomorrow? Which things will you do tomorrow? Okay. You were very close to miss it. Casi por un poco pierden. Okay. Okay, ladies. When is your birthday? When we when it's your birthday good okay when is your birthday nice okay boys boys how many cars are in the city oh, how many uh, people in the meeting okay uh listen you gotta be really careful look a coaching La oración, okay, and the good thing of this one is, okay, sorry, let me see. Um, okay, copy and paste, okay. Listen up, every time I'm going to make a stop here, right? Si yo fuera malo, le quitara el punto a los chicos, okay? But I'm going to get, I'm going to get what? I'm going to get a Christian sentence, okay? Because Christian sentence was right. But um, let me see. Escucho un perro por ahí. Okay. Okay. Good. Every, every question should have a verb. Y Joaquín dijo, how many people in this meeting? How many people in this meeting? ¿Dónde está el verbo ahí? A question. ¿Dónde está el verbo? How many people in this meeting? En español sería, ¿cuántas personas? En, 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 esta, en, en esta reunión. Eh, en sería, español. How many people are in this meeting? Good. En español how sería many como people? How many how people? Ajá, en español es ¿Cuántas personas hay en esta how reunión? People. So, that would be there How, how many, many people are there? Are, or there are, are there in this, there in this meeting? Ok. What about, okay, good. So, recuerden. ¿Qué te crees, manchas? Okay, if you, <laughs> okay, if you are asking a question, think about different parts, different part of a question. You need the subject, you need the WH word, and don't forget the verb. Una pregunta sin verbo no es pregunta, okay? So, just keep in mind that one. Where is the verb, Okay. Because if you're asking like, okay. how many time, how many time, how many time eat, how many time eat? Oh, how many times do you eat? See? Okay. And think about that too. When you have a question, you need what? You need the WH word. You need the auxiliary verb. And also you need a verb and then the subject and the complement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Estamos ahí? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Uh, okay, girls, it's your turn. Where are you from? Where are you from? Okay, I'm from 
from Morazan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, where are you from? Okay, guys. From us. Hey, guys. How much is it? Uh, how much? How much? How much is it? Or how much do you want to earn? Okay. Yeah, many questions. All right. I can see that nobody's going to win. As far as I, I, I'm seeing right now, nobody's going to win. And the last one, girls. You didn't have a chance. No to way. Win. No way. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh -huh. draw what? what time is it what time is it what time is it okay what time is it all right let me see i'm sorry i was expecting to uh to have a winner but i can see that you women and you boys or men uh didn't want the other team to win so thank you for participating that in this game not fair I know, but you are very smart. That's why uh, you didn't let your classmates win this game. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Okay. Uh, let's go to the topic. Uh, let's go to the topic. As I said before, uh, the topic is future with will. We are going to be expressing uh, sentences with will. And let's see and let's work together in this lesson. Okay. Maybe you have been asking yes. yourself like hey mr basque hey teacher what's the difference between will and going to because i don't know when to use will i don't know when to use going to so you can tell me like hey can you tell me how to use uh when to use will or when to use going to here is the answer okay here is the answer basically uh you know going to right we use going to when we have a prior plant you already have a plan, right? So you have a plan and definitely you are going to use going to, okay? Definitely. All right. Wait, wait. Uh, if you have a plan, look at this one. The decision was made sure. for the moment of speaking. I'm going sure. to, yes. Um, there is a mistake in the first uh, sentence is sentence um, going to. I am going to. Mm, uh huh. There okay. Is mistake because because for uh, there there are not there there. The, the, okay. Yes. Well, tomorrow. Okay. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, well, yeah. I'm gonna answer that question. Your question or uh, your observation. That's a good observation. But tomorrow we are going to be studying the present continuous to express future. But you are right. In this case, there is there is uh, we are missing the verb to go. Yes, that's right. Thank you, Joaquin, for the observation. But definitely, also we can say I'm going to the beach next weekend with my friends. Y espero que mañana eh, me van a entender por qué dice no hay un verbo ahí, ¿verdad? Y cómo es posible que va a ser futuro si no hay un verbo. So tomorrow I'm going to explain that, but that's a good observation, Joaquín. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, good. Okay. okay. So we, ex uh, as I was saying, uh, we use going to when we have a plan, All right? Also, we use going to when we have an evidence about something. Look, when there are signs that something is likely to happen, look at the example. Oh my gosh, my stomach hurts a lot. And I think I'm going to vomit. I'm going to throw up. You know that you don't feel good. So you don't feel well, that's good. So then you feel like, oh my gosh, uh, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm going to throw out, vomitar, okay? All right, so how about will? Okay, most of the time, uh, we need to be really careful because we all the time say going to, going to, going to for everything, right? So let's say more going to, I'm going to the beach, I'm going to eat, I'm going to help you, I'm going to punish you, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. So tonight, we are going to learn when to use going to and when not to use going to. Okay, uh, for example, will. When can we use will? I need a volunteer to read this for me. Who wants to read this one? Me. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Ricardo. Um, 
Well, rapid decision. I'm thirsty. I think I will buy a drink. Good. So we are, we can use will when we have a rapid decision, something that, that it just comes to your mind and then you say it. Oh my gosh, I'm thirsty. I think I will buy a drink. Uh, okay, so that's a rapid decision that you take. If you see, you don't say, I'm thirsty. I think I'm going to buy a drink. No, 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 because you say, oh my gosh, this is very hot. I'm going to, you say, I something say, I will, I will open the window or I will turn on the fan, see? So you can use will. Uh, and maybe I want to clarify something. It doesn't mean that it's wrong. Mm -mm. You are not wrong if you say, for example, I'm thirsty. I think I'm going to buy a drink. You are not wrong, okay? It's just that it's not very common with rapid decisions that you use going to, okay? ¿Estamos claras ahí con el primero? Yeah. Okay. Good. So how about the other one? We can use will when we are giving an offer. Look, look at the example. That looks heavy. Oh, I will help you with it. See, you are offering your help. So definitely you're going to use will. Okay, are we clear with that one? Are we clear? Yeah. Okay, the other one is we use a will with promise. Okay, with a promise. Okay, for example, you say, don't worry. I won't tell anyone. So over there, you are promising something. Okay? It's a promise. Okay? Uh, the other one is we use will with, uh, with a threat. Does anybody know what a threat is? No. What is a threat? Does anyone help? Does anyone know? Contrato. Amenaza. Contrato. Amenaza. No. Amenaza. Yes. Amenaza. Threat. So we don't usually say that, right? We don't usually uh, use threat. But if you were threatening somebody, you can say, if you don't stop, I will tell your mother. So basically you are threatening somebody that if uh, that person doesn't stop, you are going to tell his or her mother. All right. Next, refusal. What is refusal, by the way? Can you help me out with that one? Refusal. Refusal. Hmm? Reusar, yes, refusal means reusar, okay? Okay, for example, she won't listen to anything I say. She won't listen, okay? And look, okay, look at this one. You have uh, the good choice to use either will or going to for what? Let me, um, let me, let me color this one. Uh, you can use will and you can use going to. How or when? When can you use going to a wheel? Okay, especially, okay, let me go back. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, you can use both. You can use both. Wheel and going to for making predictions. Okay, look, I think it will rain tomorrow. Okay, I think it's going to what? It's going to rain tomorrow. Okay, so the good thing is that you can use both. You can use will and you can use going to, to express um, or if you want to make predictions. Is that clear? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, oh. so just keep in mind, you can use will with rapid decision, offer, promise, threat, and refusal. You can use going to, when there is a prior plan or there is an evidence about something. Okay, vamos a la siguiente. Let me see. Okay. Yo tengo una pequeña preguntita. Okay, yes, Ricardo. Eh, yo vi que ahí estaba la forma contractada del I will not y la forma contractada I want, ¿verdad? Right. Eh, yo seguido he visto que a veces las personas solo dicen uh, I want o algo, pero solo usan la contracción, ¿va? Uh -huh. eh, eso en, quiere significar es como decir no yo no yo no lo voy a hacer algo así yes 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 um, okay give me go, let me go to the chat formally formal English okay let me let me type right there formal English formal English 
I will not pay attention to. Okay, I will not pay attention to night today. See, that is formal English. I will not pay attention today. Informal English would be, I won't pay attention today. See, so when we use won't, basically that is informal English. And when we use, I will not pay attention today, that is formal English. Mm -hmm. And another thing is, when we are in writing, we use, I will not. And then you say, blah, 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 right? But if it is speaking, you say, I won't. See, is that clear? Entonces, este, mm -hmm. cuando lo estamos hablando, solo podemos decir, I won't, pero I want. porque el contexto ya, ya sabemos de qué va. I won't. Well, the thing is, like, when people are speaking, um, they just, um, they decide to go very quick about what they're saying. And sometimes they don't want to say, like, I will not, I will not be here tomorrow, I will not pay attention, I will not, instead of that, they say, I won't. Mm -hmm. Es como cuando uno dice en español nada, algo así. Ajá, something like that. Mm -hmm. Ah, gracias. Ok, yes. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Ok, good. Is there another question? And that's good. If you have any question, please do not be shy to ask. You can ask me any question. Mm -hmm. No question? No. Okay. No. Okay, good. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, there is more information, for example, when to use will and when to use going to. All right, there is more information, right? Uh, there is more information when to use both. Um, as you can see right here, um, I have, let me see. Um, I have, when, wait, wait a second. When can we use will? When we haven't made a decision yet, or we make a prediction, I think I'll buy her some perfume. See, you make a decision very quickly, right? So when you you don't pay or when you don't plan something very carefully, you can say I will. Okay. Also, we use will when we make suggestions or offer. Okay. Remember, I will help you. I'll look after the kids on Saturday. I will help you tomorrow. I will help you. I will. Uh, I will give you some food. I will. I would. I will get anything you get or anything you want. So we use that the, uh, to make suggestions or offers. Number three. When do we use will? When we make a decision at the time of speaking. Por ejemplo, si se les ocurre algo que van a hacerlo en el futuro, pueden utilizar will. We make a decision at the time of speaking. Miren el ejemplo ahí. Ahí dice, I will pick you up at 8.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, number four, um, we talk about events that are certain to happen in the future. I will be 30 years old in October. I will be 30 years old in October. Maybe you can say, I will be 2023 20, next month. I will be 20, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, or 70, or 80 <laughs> uh, next, next uh, during the year, All right? And going to... That's me, <laughs> Okay. Or maybe 100. Mm -hmm. All right. Maybe 110 years old. Okay. Number one, we expect something to happen or there is evidence in the present. The plane is going to land soon. Imagine you see a, an airplane. Of course, you see that they are going to, uh, the plane is going to land, va a arribar, because it's about to go uh, down to the earth. Okay, number two, we have already made arrangement to do something in the future. Next year, I'm going to travel around the world. See, okay. Ahora pregunto, ¿está clear? ¿Is that clear? ¿O hay alguna pregunta? All right. Mm -hmm. sure. Ok. 
Is that clear? I, yes, teacher. I have an observation in this point. Mm -hmm. um, I see a um, big guy uh, the, the big guy to use by possibility, possibility or a future immediate. Mm -hmm. And will is the future, but is um, um, no, no, no pronto, pues, no inmediato. Yeah, it's not an immediate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. immediate uh, thing to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Joaquin. Okay. Okay. Do, you, do you repeat? Can you repeat that, Joaquin? Do you repeat, uh, Will? Okay. I, I confusion. Okay. Will, you, Will is the future no immediately. Yeah. And the uh, wine two is future immediate is future immediately and possibility. Yes. Yeah. Um okay. So do not get just confused. Okay. Why you need to know it's with going to, it's let me see evidence. Okay. If you have evidence about something, definitely you know that you're going to use going to. Okay. And also when you have an arrangement, ¿qué es un arrangement? ¿Qué es un arrangement? Un plan. Un, un, algo arreglado, okay? Cuando tienen ya algo arreglado, mm -hmm. un plan o algo que está seguro, you are going to use going to. Simple. Okay. Arreglo. ¿Mm? Arreglo, sí? And that's it. ¿Cuándo voy a utilizar going to? Cuando hay evidencia oh. de algo. Uh, cuando tengo evidencia, por ejemplo, um, Uh, okay, that's a, I would say a good example, right? For example, uh, Bad, Bunny, Bad Bunny. Bad Can Bunny you hear me, come. teacher? Yes. Sir? Yes. Bad Bunny is going to come uh, when? This year, I guess. Okay. It's going to come. See, Bad Bunny. See, the singer. All right. Uh, and see, I have evidence. What is the evidence that I have? Because ya, ya lo están programando, ya están vendiendo tickets. Oh, there is an evidence, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cuando podemos hacer arrangement o oh, un arreglo, un convenio, it's for example, usted sabe que mañana va a ir a trabajar. I'm going to go to work. Ya tiene un arreglo, tiene un contrato, tiene algo. Okay. O por ejemplo, va a ir al doctor mañana. Y dice, I'm going to go to the doctor. Sí. Ya hay algo, hay un arreglo, hay algo que tiene que ser. Es seguro que va a pasar. Ajá. Okay. Apoyo. I have a question in in chat. Oh, in okay. the chat. Okay, let me see in the chat. El uso de I'll siempre se refiere al will. Yes. Okay, that's another thing that I'm going to say. When I use I'll, 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 that one, I'll, se refiere a I will. Se refiere a eso, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll. I, yeah. okay. I'll go to the okay. office. I will go to the office. Mm -hmm. Thank All right. Thank okay. you. No, thank, thank you for asking. Yes, el que si ustedes no me preguntan, pues yo no les voy a contestar. But if you have any questions, or si tienen una duda, pregunten. So I'm here to help you out. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, let's continue. Ok, uh, ok, with going to ya sabemos cuando tenemos una evidencia, cuando hay un arrangement, ok, estamos claros con eso, right? Ok, con will, ¿cuándo voy a utilizar will? Cuando tengo una predicción, a prediction, cuando tengo una offer, una oferta o un ofrecimiento, cuando tengo una sugerencia, suggestion, and when we make a decision at the time of speaking, ok, and when we talk about events, that are certain, ¿sí? Certain. Más o menos que puedan pasar, ¿sí? Certain. ¿Ok? Are we clear with that? ¿Estamos claros? Esas son las palabras que, que tendría que highlight over there. Uh -huh. Prediction, offer, suggestion, decision, and events that are certain. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to move on. It's most clear. 
Okay, good. It's much clearer. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, when we had the future with will, uh, definitely we have the affirmative, the negative, and interrogative. I need a volunteer to read the first sentence in affirmative. Volunteer? Hey, teacher. Yes, I will eat a salad. Okay, good. I need another another volunteer to read he and she. Mm -hmm. Me. Okay. With Me. Salad. Uh, do you hear Papa? Sorry. I'm sorry. Can you repeat it again? Okay. Salad. Okay. Okay. He will eat a salad. Okay. He will eat a salad or she will eat a salad. Okay, next. I need another volunteer to use this other one. We will, we will eat a salad. Okay, good. Thank you. What about in negative? In negative, aquí está lo que ustedes me preguntaban anteriormente. Miren, el want. Aquí está, ¿eh? ¿Ya lo vieron? Want. I want eat a salad. Esta es la contracción de I will not. ¿Ok? Yeah. Okay. When you have want, eh, es como que estoy diciendo uh, yeah. will not. So, pero usted me puede decir, pero teacher, entonces, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo lo uso? ¿Cuándo lo uso? ¿Cuándo uso want? ¿Cuándo uso will not? Well, that's basically depending on whom you are speaking to. Si están hablando con una persona que es formal, you will use I will not. But if you are speaking to your friends, you are speaking to your mother, your father, your friends, your family, you can use want. Okay? Ahora, si están escribiendo un correo, imagine you are writing an email. Por favor, eviten escribir want. Porque un correo es formal. Okay? If you are, if you are typing an email... Do not write want. Por ejemplo, eh, yeah, eviten eso, eh, avoid that, please, because sometimes uh, there are many, many people who type want, like, because they want to, ellas se quieren como mostrar que andan, como decimos, ah, yo sé esto, yo sé lo otro, but that is informal. Mm -hmm. Pero si, claro, si le están escribiendo un correo a sus amigos, a sus familiares, of course, you can type want. Pero si es, por ejemplo, you are typing, um, uh, no, that's okay, that's okay, Sandra. Um, but uh, if you are typing an email to your boss, el mero jefe, do not type won't. Type I will not. Mm -hmm. For example, today I'm sending you this email because I will not go to the office because I'm, I am sick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go with the other one. She won't eat a salad. Okay, and how about the questions? How about the questions? The questions are basically, um, we use the auxiliary verb will. ¿Lo ven acá? Aquí está. Will. And then I need the subject. And then I need the verb. And lastly, I need the complement. See? Will I eat a salad? Will he eat a salad? Okay. Y miren, aquí no pasa nada. Miren, al, al verbo eat no se le agrega ni se le quita nada. Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos el will, oh, will. auxiliary verb. Okay. Porque ustedes saben que solamente cuando tenemos el he, se le agrega qué? Se le agrega una letra S al verbo, ¿verdad? You know that, right? Pero, como en este caso, I have already will. So, I don't need to change or I don't need to add the letter S to the word eat. Okay? Yes. yes. Okay. Is your is your person? Mm -hmm. no, Good. No. Third person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at the other example. Uh, will she eat a salad? And look at the other one. Will they eat a salad? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's move on to an exercise that I have for you. I wanna see, uh, I wanna see your, um... okay. I want you to type sentences in the chat. For example, 
For example, you can say, uh, let me see, let me move this, okay. I will, okay, play, play. Uh, video games, for example. So I'll go to the chat, it will escribir, I will play video games, see? ¿Lo vieron? I will play video games, okay? Okay, so go to the chat and choose. Aquí hay muchos verbos aquí. Escojan el verbo y hagan oraciones, por favor, using the, the future will. I will go, I will take, I will make, I will get. Uh, okay, go to the chat and type a sentence using will. Taking into account the verbs that you have over there. Okay. Okay, let me see. I will go to the cinema. Good. I will travel to the beach. Good. I will do. I will do the. I will cook the breakfast tomorrow. Good. I will make up my mind and will start. Good. Mm -hmm. Teacher, is it correct to use twice? Uh, will. In a in a sentence. Can you can you say the sentence? I will make up my mind and, and will start selling new things. Well, uh, not really, because if you have only one will, the same will, it can be used for both verbs. For example, I will go to the movies and then study a lot. Uh -huh. See? Okay. Okay, I will uh -huh. make English. Okay, Judith, um, al menos que usted sea, okay. Voy a agarrar el ejemplo de Judith, right? Judith says, I will make homeworks. Okay. Okay, look, este es el ejemplo de Judith. I will make homeworks. First of all, okay, let me, let, let me ask you something. Homework. Yeah. It's homework countable or uncountable? Homework is countable. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. No. Uncountable. Okay. uncountable. En español, okay, en español sí podemos decir, por ejemplo, una tarea, dos tareas, tres ah, o deberes, correcto. En español sí podemos contar un deber, dos deberes, tres deberes, cuatro deberes, cinco deberes, and so on. Okay? But in English, in English, I can't. No, 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 no. I can't count. Like one homework, two homeworks, three homeworks, four homeworks, etc. Okay? So I can't count that. Okay, lo primero. Okay, so homework is uncountable. Okay. En el caso de make, al menos que, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre do homework and Make homework. The mm. homework is. Okay, what is the difference between um, uh, do homework and make homework? Open your mic and tell me. When we different. say do, mm -hmm. in a, with it's a the mind. Action. Do okay, no, hands. no. Okay. But make is with our hands. Mm, okay. Me it depends. Como que ya está hecha. Mm, no. If I make the homework, I do it. I join everything. So I'm making the homework. Imagine I am the teacher. Okay. I am the teacher. Ah, dijo I'm... make or made. No, no, no. Make homework and do homework. Uh -huh. Ah, el make es como que está haciéndolo, pero refiriéndose, digamos, al proceso, que está en proceso de hacerlo. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So, when I make, see, si I'm the designer. Llamémoslo, si soy el diseñador. So, I make the homework. I'm collecting, so I'm making the homework. And do homework, es en ese caso ustedes, ya está hecho, solo responden o resuelven, o resuelven la tarea. So, you do homework. Me, as teacher, 
me as teacher, I make homework, and you as a student, you do homework. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. Uh, y lo siento, Judith, que creo que tomé su ejemplo, ¿verdad? Porque creía yo, creo que era muy importante que supieran eso. Yes, okay? teacher. Okay, okay, good. Okay, let me read your sentences with will. I will go to the church. I will take some photos. I will travel on vacation. I will see a movie with my best friend. Good. I will get some money next weekend. I will learn to speak English. Good. I will play football. I will go to church. I will go to the beach. Good. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. Thank you for participating. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. In here, I'm going to need your help. Okay. I'm going to need your help. So I want number one. Who wants to do number one? Number two. A, na a name for number two? Ok, sí. yo lo voy a elegir entonces. Tengo del 2 al 15 y voy a decir a quién le toca el 2, a quién le toca el 3, a quién le toca el 4, and so on. Ok, ¿estamos claros? Ok, number 2, uh, Ricardo Mancilla, number 2, uh, Giovanni, number 3, Judith, number 4, Ángel Martínez, number 5, Sandra Ramírez, number 6. Um, Basilia Monterrosa, number seven. Joaquín Ramírez, number eight. Patricia Marroquín, number nine. Uh, uh, Eduardo Romero, number ten. Stephanie Carolina, number eleven. Eunice, Eunice Ramírez, number twelve. Uh, Marjorie, number thirteen. Sara Quintanilla, number 14. Y Rosa María, number 15. Lo siento por Cristian, Diego, Fátima, Fátima, en Josué, en Elsie, en Jenny, en Diego, que no tengo oraciones para ustedes, pero eh, sus compañeros van a participar por ustedes. ¿Ok? Teacher, okay. but uh, if you want, I can, I can give the mine one to, to ah, one of them. Oh, yeah, you can, you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, of course. Ok. But lo que ustedes van a hacer es, uh, you are going to fill in the blank. You are going to tell me the sentence, and then you are going to tell me uh, the, the right way to say will. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. In the meantime, ustedes pueden ir viendo y pueden ir pensando qué tipo de will van a colocar ahí. Okay. Le voy a dar un minuto para que hagan la actividad, and then I'm going to ask you. Okay. One minute to work on, and then I'm going to ask you. Okay. Yes. yes teacher. Okay. okay, good, good. Okay, uh, time is up. Time is up. Okay, number two. Number two. Oh, okay. Um, will your friend be at the party? Yes, she will. Good. Number three. Number three. Uh, number three. No me la pero si quiere la digo yo. Ok, wait, give me a second, Ricardo. Let me see. Ok, okay. Uh, ¿se acuerdan que yo le di nombre, verdad? Así que, ¿a quién le tocaba el número 3? No me dejen abajo, por favor. ¿A quién le tocaba el número 3? Attention. ¿Ah? Attention. Ok. What? Ok. Uh, who wants to participate in number 3? 
Number three. Un voluntario. Um, ¿eh? If you. Si se si puede otra vez. Ah, bueno. Hello, my, hello, Mr. Smith. This, uh, pe, this Peter. I will. Lea la oración completa. I will. Mm -hmm. I will be at work today because I am sick. Hmm. I will be at work today because I'm sick. Are you sure it's I, I will? Won't. I won't. <laughs> I won't. Okay. I won't. Yes, I won't be at work today because I'm sick. Okay. okay. Or yeah. puede decir, I won't or I will not be. Okay. Good. Number four. Thank you, Eduardo. Number four. Hit. Me. Okay, good. Teacher, I'm so sorry. My connection had a fail. Oh, that's okay, Giovanni. No worries. Number four. Okay. Those bag, bags look heavy. Let me help. I will carry the big one for you. Good. Good. Number five. My brother, my brother will not speak to, to me because he's very angry. Good. Thank you, Angel. Number six. Yeah. Number six. Number six. A volunteer. A volunteer for number six. Christian, thank you. What time uh, the sun rise tomorrow morning? Say it again, please. What time what time will the sun rise tomorrow morning? Good, thank you. Number seven. Number seven, I will, another one. I, who has number seven? Will you be 20 years old next month? No, mm. I won't. Okay, good. Number eight. Thank you, Marjorie. Number, number eight. Meet, meet teacher. Okay, go, go. Flight CX-793, it, it will depart from gate 12 in 10 minutes. Good, thank you. Number nine. Do you think people go lie on the moon in the, your lifetime? Yes, thank you. Do you think people will leave? Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Good job. Number 12. Yes, Number 10. Maybe I I will like someone cookies tomorrow. Okay, good. Thank you, Eduardo. Number 11. 11. Are you ready to order, sir? Yes, thank you. I will hack a hamburger. Good, good job, Stephanie. Number 12. It will be midnight in a few minutes. It's time to go to bed. Good, thank you. Uh, number 13. When do you think we will have our, our next test? Good, good, thank you. Number 14. Maybe it will say tomorrow, and maybe it will. Mm. Can you say it again, please? Maybe it will Maybe rain. Maybe it uh -huh. will not. Say tomorrow. And maybe it won't. Mm -hmm. Good. And the next one, uh, 15. Will you marry me? Yes, I will. Okay, <laughs> good, thank you, thank you so much. All right, so let's move on. Um, we have another one, uh, we have another exercise. Uh, para los que no participaron antes, because I don't remember, uh, I don't remember who participated in who not. So para los que no participaron, can you take number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on, please? Or entre todos lo hacemos. What do you think? Can we do it all together or do you want to take one? I will. Okay, number one. I, I will. Will. I will. I will what? Mm -hmm. I will what? I will. I will be a teacher when I when I grow up. Okay, I will be a teacher when I grow up. Okay, uh, number two. I will go to a party tonight. Okay, I will go to a party tonight. Number three. 
We'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, good. Number four. Number four. I will work next week. I will work next year. I will year. work next year. Okay, good. Number six. Okay, let me see. Elsie, Elsie, number six. I mean, number seven. Elsie, Elsie. Yes, teacher. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. I will. I will. Number seven. Elsie, Elsie, number seven, please. Elsie. I will. I will go to the cinema the day after tomorrow. Good, thank you, Elsie. Josue Merino, number eight. I will go in a few minutes. Okay, number nine, uh, Karina, Fatima Abigail, Fatima Abigail, number nine. Fatima Abigail? Fatima Abigail? Okay, Fatima Karina, number nine. Fatima Karina. Fatima Karina. I will. Mm -hmm. Finish after I. Okay. Good. Thank you. Marjorie, number 10. Yes, I will to finish, finish my class mm, in a few years. Number 10, number 10. <laughs> I don't know, I, I will to go. Uh, I, I will know, I to know. go, I will to go. No, yeah. maybe you can say, no. I will be a teacher in a few years, or I will be a nurse, or I will go home in a few years. I will visit my family in Nicaragua in a few years. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, see, okay, good. <laughs> Okay, uh, can get a number 10? I mean, number 11 volunteers quickly, please. Me, teacher. I will okay, prepare. Basilia, 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 number 11. Okay, I will uh, go to the Jinx next Monday. Okay, good. Number 12 volunteer, Eduardo. Thank you, Eduardo. Number 12. I will be. I will be an, an important gentleman I, if I get high score in my test. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Uh, number 13. Who wants to give me? Joaquin, number 13. Perfect. Yes? 13? The last 13. The last one I said, teacher. 13. Okay. Uh, Okay, Eunice, number 13, Eunice. I won't go out if it rains tomorrow. Okay, I won't go out if it rains tomorrow. And the last one, 14, let me see. Uh, Stephanie, Carolina. Stephanie, Carolina, the last one. I will... I will won't uh, watch movie is my TV breaks. Okay, I won't watch my I won't I won't watch movies if my TV breaks. If oh, my TV breaks. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, no, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So as a conclusion, um, we are going to finish today's lesson. And let me ask you, what do you learn today? When do you need to use will? Yes. May I teach you? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. In brief, um, we use going to when we are will, sure will, that will, we are will. going when to. When do, do we use will? Will, will. Ah, uh, will. Uh, well. Will is when we are not very sure to do it. And, okay. and I'm going to is because we are sure we are going to the beach. Okay, good. Uh, okay. 
Anyone else? A volunteer to tell me when do we use will? When you have a rapid decision. A rapid decision. Good. What else? When do we offering use have an offer? When I use an, an offering. Offer, yes, uh, to help. Good. Okay, good. Okay, because of the time, uh, because of the time, I wish I can continue. Uh, no, it's okay, Giovanni. No worries. Uh, no worries. I hope. Um, I hope you can watch the 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 recording on YouTube. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much for showing today. I hope to see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Okay. Have a great evening and thank you for everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good night. Bye -bye. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay.